Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vintage Cube Draft number three. Today, we're doing a stipulation from Recif8604, longtime subscriber and support of the channel. Recif stipulation is Team America World Police. Draft a red, white, blue, because America, and green, Teamer, Super Friends deck. Must mention Matt Damon and have fun. So this is a little play on Team America. Team Mer Team Mer Rica. You, you get it. Also, you just technically mentioned Matt Damon, so I think you're good on that part. Dang it. <laughs> so it's basically Teamer White or Jeskai Green, as we would have called it back in Khan's of Tarkir standard. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't also be Bant Red. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying right now. Oh, do 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 do. Uh. Oh, Naya Blue also works. All right. Oh, Coalition Relic seems like a very good start. Yeah, also doesn't commit us to anything. And I bet that plateau comes back because nobody likes red white, dude. All right, we're gonna go also, with. This might be a moat deck. A moat deck? Yeah. Oh, actually, maybe if that moat comes back, I'll definitely play that. Koth? Yeah, we're definitely not taking Koth. <laughs> Koth is not a a, a a a red X planeswalker. He's just a solo red planeswalker. What if all of our duels are mountains, though? Well, I feel bad for our mana base at that point. Oh, man. We're just mono red splash three colors. How dare you? Oh, Patrick Mahomes, you idiot. I'm so sorry, dude. I didn't mean to make you cry, man. I didn't mean to make you cry, Patrick Mahomes, you idiot. Are you drafting with a requirement? Uh, it's called stipulation. You can use command stip to see it. We just went over it. <laughs> we just went over it. I literally that was literally the whole the whole beginning of this of this draft. Maybe they weren't there for that part and they just I don't ready? think so. I think Elron Scrubbard's been here since at least No, it might be fresh. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, I don't see him, man. man shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! Um, we could take a Gary. Raging Green's good. Time Twister is trash. Pwn. <laughs> Whatever, Elrond Scrubbard. Sassy. I would take either Lana or Elves or Raging Ravine. You could also consider Garuk, but Triple Green might be. Well, in the, in the Super Friends deck, I feel like Garuk is probably. I think it's going to be Raging Green because I feel like we definitely. I think Garuk will come back. Wow. Oh, Scalding Tarn. In lieu of any planeswalkers whatsoever, I'm taking a scalding tire for sure. My dude. Come is Lil Wiggy here in the chat? I don't think so. I don't think Lil Wiggy. Is Lil Wiggy back in prison again? <laughs> oh man, he in the grave. Lil Wiggy's dead? Yeah. Oh, how did Lil Wiggy die, man? You saw it, man. I saw Lil Wiggy die? Yeah. Dude, I feel way uh you probably blacked it out. I feel way out. less affected than I should be if I witness Lil Wiggy's death. No, you blocked it out. It happens. I'm going to take Tundra. Seems good. Also, nothing that great. In How did Lil Wiggy die? I crushed him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn, Michael. God damn. <laughs> we literally have video evidence of Lil Wiggy's murder. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. For a little while, I actually forgot Lil Wiggy was the earwig. Yeah, I, f I figured you might have because I was like, wait, what is he, what's he talking about? Does he not know that I killed that bug? I mean, maybe she wasn't crawling on my goddamn neck. Oh, birds. Bird it up. <coughs> a birder. It's birder. We've only picked mana so far, but... But that's good when you're playing a five color like... Uh, it's four color? He's right. You know what? I try not to give Michael that much credit, but he's fucking right. Ooh. Ren and Six seems good, especially if you get yeah. some more fetchies. Colony would be nice, but I think Ren and Six is Colony! It's for you, It's because it's, it's cause of the tune of Holiday. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I was just... Thank you, though. I just want to make sure. Hmm, do I get fried rice and a noodle dish, or do I get double noodle dish? Well, how are you going to eat two chicken sandwiches for lunch and then two whole Thai dishes for dinner? 
very carefully. How's your fucking diet have 4,000 calories a day in it? I don't understand. It's probably not 4,000. Michael? <laughs> I'm going to miss you when you pass away from... She uses trees to travel, don't we all? Elspeth Conquers Death is a sweet addition. I wonder if that's good here. What does that, that one do again? Uh, XL, a permanent and opponent controls with quarterback cost three or greater. So pretty much m most things that you care about. Mm -hmm. uh, Non-creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more. So then you kind of tax them a little bit. And then return a creature or a planeswalker from your graveyard to the battlefield and they get an extra plus one plus one or loyalty counter. It seems real good Cons for this deck. Right, especially because we're planes. Oh, Pernicious Deed. Oh, it's not black. Biscuits. I love Pernicious Deed in the Planeswalker deck because it doesn't kill Planeswalkers. Um, might just be... Yeah, Dismember, I guess. Is, kills no, Dismember is black, though. I don't want to take I don't want to take a black card. He doesn't kill Planeswalkers, though. I know, but we're not black. All it's right. Team yeah, America, yeah. not five color, Michael. You literally corrected me two seconds ago. Well, Dismember is a black card, too. I'll take Master. <gasps> moat seems juicy. I want to take a Moat. Yeah. We don't have to play the Hunt Master. Or the Wild. Yeah. Or I mean, master we can still play it as a removal spell. Like, it just kills their That's things. That's true. That's true. Uh, all these cards. Winds of Abandon is actually fantastic. I'm always impressed with Winds of Abandon. It's a one more mana Path Exile, but then like you could just kick it and wipe their whole team. Bloodbraid Elf? Sure. Also, we could just not play this, depending on what we get. Avacyn's Pilgrim? I and mean, we're heavy white right now, so I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take an Incinerate. Where my mana's at? My ex did 5,000 plus calories a day and weighed 110. I looked at 2,000 and weighed 260. <laughs> yeah. 5,000 calories a day and weighed 110? How is that possible? Well, I, I believe that was what's known as an exaggeration. Oh. Yeah. On the same thing but slightly less frank about it, even a small reduction in what you have every day makes a monthly total that's huge too. Two times lunch, two times dinner can become two times lunch. One. Yeah, I agree. I think it's all about them portions. Oh, look at look at this! Look at all this burn we got here. No, I don't eat. I don't eat lunch every day. So I did today. Though. I'm sure he doesn't. He's too hungry. I sometimes I see Michael go out in the backyard and start picking bugs off the ground and eating them. It's real fucking weird, dude. I mean, it's protein. He doesn't eat lunch, but he's like, I'll just go eat some bugs today. And I'm like, Oh, mox pearl. A mox in our colors. Nice. I mean, I love a Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, but Mox is too good. And there also is no Planeswalker, so I don't have to feel like that guilt. You think the Sphinx will heal? No. No, I don't. Oh, Fallen Shinobi? That off-color Shinobi? Probably just Vivian Reed, right? I do like a Vivian Reed. You could also take an R set. Yeah, double blue... Nah, it seems like shit. <laughs> so do you. But I also yeah, like Sun Titan and Dragon Lord Atarka, so if either of them table, I will be glad. Same thing with Golos, but I'm going to take the Vivian Reed Golos, here. Golos, people got no respect for Golos. All the, the two cards I want in this pack are black. Kolagon's Command and Scrubland. Hmm. Otherwise, we can take... We can take Serpent? Deceiver Exart and try to combo. Oh, yeah. True, true. I mean... If we hit Splinter Twin, if we hit Splinter Twin, right? Or Kiki Jeekums. Nighthawk is black, my dude. We're drafting every color but black. That's the whole point of the stip. Look at Mike correcting people like he didn't just forget two seconds ago. What did you get about the stipulation, guys? It's everything but black. How did I forget? Because you literally just told us to take a black card like two picks ago, and I had to remind you. What card? What card was it, guys? Not razor. So it was ready. I don't know. I think it's just Razor Verge ticket here. We could arm again with Ren and Six. That is an option. But overall, it seems pretty bad for a Planeswalker deck where you're trying to get a lot of lands in play. Well, it's free with Ren and Six. Like you just discard the land, put it into play, right? Put it in your hand. Yeah, but that's only good when you have Ren and Six. Otherwise, Armageddon is just terrible for this deck. Oh, I, I was talking about Duretti. Oh no, no, no. I think Duretti's the thing. Yeah, Duretti seems fine. I guess she could have taken Thirst maybe, but. It was Vampire Nighthawk. I did not recommend Vampire Nighthawk. Pernicious Deed, that's what, yeah, I did mention that one. But that was like a whole pack ago, okay? Not two picks ago, buddy. I don't think it was Pernicious Deed, actually. That was the one I told you about. 
No, I, I was like, yeah, let's take oh, that. Oh, balance card. seems nice. It's the only black card I've mentioned. It's not. It's definitely not. Can someone 100%. fucking clip it? God damn it, Michael. Balance I like Vindicate good. a lot. Vindicate. Yeah, but... Chandra's yeah. good, too. I think we just want balance because, like... We're it, not going to have creatures. So. Well, we already got these two idiots. Maybe it's just Chandra. I don't know, man. I think balance is strong enough to take. Plus, we only have two dorks so far. It's not that many. I think balance is high enough upside. Was it? It's lands, creatures, and cards in hand, right? Yes. <sighs> All right, I'll take the balance. I don't love it. God dang it! I'm so mad. Uh, spell pierce. The two cards I want are Grave Titan and Overgrown Tomb. I can just take this and hope to hit a sneaky boy. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I really don't love it. Oh, also Nahiri would be good too for that. Warren Power Stone's not bad. Yeah, I'll just take Warren Power Stone. This pack's pretty unexciting outside of that. Oh, thank goodness. All right, Scalding Tarn can get us a Tundra. And Stomping Ground, so that's actually all four of our colors now. Which is We're more sweet. green than we are white, so. Mike, this is from a place of love, but you absolutely do overeat, have portion distortion. I eat, consume too many calories, too much as well, and I'm overweight from it. I really think Frank wants you to get healthier and feel better as a result when he's teasing and joking. I, I definitely do. I, mean, um, I, don't, I don't take it as offense when he says that. Yeah, because I'm never like, you're fat, Michael. <laughs> like, I've never actually, it's never, it's never about that. Uh, but I know that can reinforce bad habits that are hard to deal with. My point is that small changes that happen, I would love to see you take care of yourself better. I want to see you able to tease Frank back. Yeah, tease me back, you stupid Mitch. Oh, hey, Golos and Fallen. What? What would you say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? I said, may I said maybe one day. You son of a bitch. Sun Titan, any good here? I love Sun. You hate Sun Titan. And we're not going to have black, so I'm just taking the Sun Titan. It's not good. It's not, it's not Sun good. Sun Titan is actual trash. I hate you so it's much. It's a trap, and it's bad. You wait till we get a bunch of 300 Planeswalkers in the last pick. You just fucking wait. <laughs> what 300 Planeswalkers are we going to get in these colors? I'm going to take this. Maybe we get a... My Jace, I guess. God, Vindicate? Man. Ravages of War 2? Jeez. Yeah, man. Jace, Dak Faden, uh, Teferi. Take that back unless you want to end up like a little wiggy. Liliana's black. Liliana's black. We're not playing black. No, they're just trolling the whole time. Like, look at the, look at what Patrick Mahomes has been saying. Vampire Nighthawk, Desperate Ritual, Tendrils. Oh, I got you. He don't give an F about nothing. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. What are you doing? I'm getting excited. You sound like you're... What? I don't know, man. Is that how you sound when you... Is that... When you what? I don't know, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Do we you... just take the Kiki Jiggy? Yes, we do. We have the combo. Why would we not? I don't know. Kiki Jiggy's kind of a little bitch. <laughs> we can get other stuff that's good with it. Steam nice Vents. Oh, that's good. I like a Steam Vents. Although we do only currently have literally one blue card right now. So if there's a better pick, it's a, something to consider. Something to consider. It's something to consider. My name is Rocky Balboa. I am the law. You know that from the Judge Red? What about taking Path? I was thinking about it. We already have wins with Bandon. True. I don't know if I care about Path that much. I think I'd rather just have the fixing. All right. Oh, Savannah. Oh, Planeswalker here is Gary. It's a good one, though. He's like removal. Savannah's so good, though. We actually don't have a white. We're, I think we are like I think we just want this because we're white-green, mostly. And we don't actually have a green-white land. All right. I, I also don't think... I think if anything's coming back, it might be Garrick, but... I am the Lou. There's a Chad for you. 
A Chad? Yeah. Oh, this. Oh, that is a Chad. All right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even. For some reason, I didn't even see that guy. I think skates better, but we're supposed to take planeswalkers. So. You ever been plowed under? I have, but it's not a good time. Wait, why is the stipulation not? What? Oh, add. Oh, Jesus! I'm an actual idiot. I said add add C O M E, not add C O M for command. So. I'm an actual idiot. Yeah, I know. Damn it. Whatever. Go eat your bugs. Go outside and eat bugs, Michael. Oh, dang it. This is a good one. Not for us, it ain't. We do have a stomping ground in a savannah. Huh? Okay, it's two. What about this, Chad? Uh, yeah. It's a good one. Oh, we could have took Resto. I didn't think about that. That's what might come back, though. Maybe you'll think about it next time. Did you ever think about that? No. Oh, man. I can't handle this. Did you ever think about maybe you'll think about it next time? Think about that. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Yeah. It's because you weren't thinking. Windswept teeth. Oh, six-man Elspeth, though. It's a really good one. But Ren and six. Six-man Elspeth. Elspeth is too good. That card's... Oh! Oh, oh that was not intentional. No, that's unfortunate. Oh. I mean, it's still good, but... I think Elspeth was the better pick there. Tooth whom's to nail. <laughs> I don't I don't know what that means. Also, I don't think we're playing Ulamog. I don't think so either. Ulamog? We, we might play Lightning Strike. I was actually thinking, well, Incinerate's just better than Lightning Strike. Why? Because it's literally the same exact card, but if it deals damage to a creature and it, it can't be regenerated. Ah. Uh. It's just literally a better card. I didn't know it didn't. It's strictly better, I didn't Michael. let you know it didn't rejuggerate. Rejuggerate? Yeah. What if you want your opponent to regenerate? Did you ever think about that? Then it's not strictly worse. I've Got him. I've never considered this. How about Vanishing Light? Yeah, I like that. How about five mana Teferi? Sure. Also, Swords of Plasher is in this pack, too. Good grief. Boop, boop. They just cut the Lyra. It's a lot of five drops. Mm. Yeah, it's too late. I did it. It's already in the. Well, I'm gonna look at the deck. It's a look. Look at whatever you want, man. I ain't stopping you. Elish cut Sun Titan. Easy game, easy life. I would never do that. Why not? I would. I don't want because I don't want to. Okay. Well, have fun. Not trophy. Wow. Why can't I just play both? I have 21 playables right now. Why would I have to cut one? Then play them both, then. I kind of want st Stirring Wildwood. I think you have enough lands. Okay. Oh, Path came back. That's pretty cool. Path came back. Is Huntmaster better? Do, 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 do. How much removal we got? Probably a lot. Winds, Balance, Incinerate, Banishing Light. Eh, I think Path is probably better. Got a lot of four drops, too. Is this better than Master of the Wild Hunt? I don't, I don't know. I think so. Cut I bad think, Gideon? I think Path Both might Gideons be are the... good. I'll take Path. Hmm. No, I don't think you're playing any of this. I don't think so either. Geist is an option to board in against, like, Super Dirt. Well, Copperline Gorge is actually fine. I'll take Copperline sure. Gorgums. Copper and. Oh, Resto came back? That's, That's another geeky combo. combo, boy. Oh, biscuits. Oh, oh, Lightning Helix is better than Incinerate, probably. Yeah, I think so. So we're Bant, and we have two blue cards. That's not an accent. That's Michael's voice. <laughs> we take out Hero Blade Hold? Hero Blade Hold just wins games. Yeah, I don't like cutting that. I take Master Hound. It's good Power forward. Stone. War yeah, Power Stone's worth it. Um, what about der, 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 I do like the ready because we get to discard lands for Ren 6 it also just lets us find things 
Yeah, but we have no synergy with them otherwise. We have like no artifacts. But I don't think that matters. Who cares about that? You just want to use them as a four mana draw spell? A, f a four, or yeah, four mana card that loots two every turn. Yeah, I, don't I mean, it's worth it. Outpost Siege did that. And, like Chandra. Frank didn't take one of my suggestions. I think Doretti's too slow for this format. It doesn't affect the board. You know what? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. Wow. We are heavy, heavy white here. Take out the scrub land. Go to the Goblet Shrine. Good call. I was like, the scrub land? All right, let's see what basics we need here. So for red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, that seems fine. I'm gonna say eight. Uh, white, we have three, four, scalding turn, five, six, seven, eight. Still okay. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Yeah, there's plenty. Still but... fine. Green, we have one, two, three, four. Scalding turn five, six, seven. Probably one more green because we have Abyssin and Bird on turn one. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. All right, let's do it. Uh, no, we're not going to play Moat. We have way too many ground creatures. Master Bra Blood Braid, Hero Blade Hold. All also, the, we didn't, we don't the have tokens. Yeah, we do. We do? Oh, yeah. you took it. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah, it came back. Uh, Gideon makes ground tokens. Gideon Jura can attack. Uh, we can't combo with Kiki Jiki if we have moat. We could also potentially board into moat and switch our deck up if we need it. We just have no. We just have no real plan to win other than Vala and and Bainsla and Lyra. Uh, keep. I guess I don't know. My wife was making chicken tikka masala and pat God, at the same time? Those are like two of the, the MVP dishes of the respective cultures. It's Michael B. Frank, can you rate my out of context vintage screenshot for me? I think we can do that. Never. Dang. I'll well, never do that. I tried. Nathan, at what point do you just mail me the gift? Hmm. Never won't do that. All right, well, you know what they say. I don't know what they say. <laughs> You gonna kill my bird? Don't bird me, bro. Don't bird. Thank you. Oh, Admiral with a resub, buddy. Can you rate it now? You know what? I think I can. You think I'll sacrifice him to kill your bird? You can't sacrifice anything. You know why? Huh. You know why? Oh, wow. That was a good draw. We don't have anything in our graveyard, though. I guess I'll just Banishing Light it. This is the Banishing Light. Whoa. It's not urgent. Enjoy your match. All right. I'm checking it out on Twitter anyway. And then I'll bring it over here. Oh, this is a vintage match. I was thinking vintage cube. So you intuition for seal of fire, lava dart, and crippling fatigue. Huh. So no matter which one they give you. Is this good? I can't tell. I have no idea. I mean, I guess it kills one creature. <laughs> Seems uh, a little desperate. It kills multiple, right? Crippling fatigue. Oh, he also has a Lurus as a companion. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know. What does that change, though? I don't know. I don't actually know. It's a lot to process. Where you can use Ancestral... Hey, buddy. I can use Ancestral Recall. Oh, because you can play Lurus, then play the Seal of Fire, then kill their thing, and then play Seal of Fire. Okay, yeah. That's pretty good, then. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's not that's not terrible. This is what Avengers has come down to. Killing three twos. I think you should have included Dolores, but maybe it's like just implied in, in vintage right now. That's hilarious, right? Like what CMCs over two do you want in vintage that often? I mean the only thing I saw was um like the Blightsteel deck with like Deck Fade and, and oh, Jace. Sure. The Tinker deck. You're yeah. gonna strip mine my light source? Sure. What does it feel like to be so rude? Oh wow. We just draw Ren and Six after they That's pretty wild. Sweet strip mine, bro. Got him. That was pretty juicy. Narset Teferi deck, Oko, but honestly, it's worth second them for. Yeah, I agree because you just get a free card. Oh, fascinating. Big boy. All right, what are you gonna hit here, Gideon? Coalition relic. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Can't do anything about that. I say you just let him discard cards. Well, we're going to make him discard at least one. <coughs> I don't think you need the birds. I was actually just going to path. After they I was just saying, considering, like, let him discard a card, chop it once, the next turn let him discard another, then path it. Well, let's also consider that them discarding might be a benefit if they have, like... Oh, that's true. Hmm. They are blue-black, so could be. I don't know. Hard to say. It is hard to say. This is the rhythm of the mic. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Um, Be right back. Gonna grab some food. Uncircumcised mashed potatoes with ground beef, tomato, <laughs> and lettuce salad. What's a tomato and lettuce salad? Is that just like every salad? If it hadn't been for Copperline Gorge, I'd have beaten Teferi a few turns ago. Why? Wait, what is this? <laughs> Thomas, what is that a response to? I don't think we're doing anything here. Um, yeah, let him discard, see what's going on. Oh, I see. Yeah, but where did you come from, Copperline jo Gorge? Oh, oh, I see. I see. I'd been Teferi a few turns ago. Why am I stuck here? Why did you say Drago? Where did you come from, Copperline Gorge? I think that's fine. Um, mm, Copperline Gorge is a stretch. You're a stretch, you... Were they going to name White? Can't do anything about this. Take it they named white. Yep. It's kind of weird because we have one white land. Yeah, but clearly white's our removal color. Is that clear? Yeah. Well. I guess we should have passed the stupid discard outlet. I mean, we can't. I meant like on our turn. Yeah, I just there's nothing we can really do. No, I don't think they're ghosting. Yep, just gonna concede now because obviously. I mean, Vivian Reed would have been nice. Path Iona sounds like a solid play. <laughs> Let me try that. I'll get back to you. Let you know how it goes.
No path birds than balance. Oh. How well, are we gonna we, how we, we, we how can't... how are we gonna play balance? Yeah, we, we can't play white spells. I thought you were a genius, then I realized you were not. I <laughs> got him. Dang, Chris, he really wrecked you, buddy. I thought you were a genius, and then I realized you are not. Still needs work, but thanks for singing in your best rednecks impression. Thanks to poker, I'm not friends with a guy who produces trap music. What did you say about trap music? I'm friends with someone who makes trap music. Isn't that good? I know, I haven't listened to any of this stuff yet. Patrick Mahomes, I don't even know what a main board is. I've never heard of that. If you mean main deck, I don't know how we're going to cast the Ulamog. I do not, in fact, make trap music. That would be pretty hilarious if I did. Some say main board, sideboard. Oh, well, those people sound like they just like to use incorrect terms for things. Do you even know what trap music is? Thomas, I'm, I'm well aware that people say main board. I just don't, uh, I'll subscribe to that. And I like to troll people when they say it because it's completely incorrect and made up. Also, it doesn't make sense if you think about it because a side deck is like, or a sideboard is like, it's like your board of cards that come into your deck and like your deck isn't a board. You know, I don't know. All words are made up, but we've also come to an agreement as a society as which deck, which words mean which things. So, oh, the old side deck main board, nice. Oh, side deck main board. It must be hard to see us main boarders with your nose so high, there, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. Yes. Yeah, if you say main and side, you can't mess it up because you just you have to say the rest. Isn't there some sort of agreement on meaning of main board at this point, though? I just don't understand the benefit of saying main board instead of just calling it main deck when it's a main deck. Like, that's literally the, the correct terminology based on Magic the Gathering's history. Main board is not a thing. There's no board. Yeah, primary pile and auxiliary stack. Oh, look what look what they're doing here. Look what's happening right now. 
This is how we died. What? Oh, they're going to do a thing? That's cute. Cool. Seems good. Protection from colored spells is pretty good. Yep. It's a real a real gem of a card, that Emrakul. <laughs> a gem so nice they name it once. What they named it twice, Emrakul and Emrakul. They call it Emrakul Emrakul. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, that's because you're a turd sniffing lunatic that runs naked around the house every night. Got him. Patrick Mahoney's suggestions are just amazing. Patrick Mahoney? Yeah. Who's that? Mahomes, rather. Oh, okay. Ulamog is colorless. It can target Emrakul. It's not incorrect. I said Mahomey because he, he's like Mahomey, you know? I thought you said Mahoney. No. So you did say Mahoney, <laughs> and then when someone said Mahomey, you changed that you said Mahomey. It's hard to remember. Okay, here's next episode. Alexa, stop. I don't even know what she was doing there. Another blue black deck, huh? Well, see you later. You just need like five ghost fires. That's true. That would get there. Can you make us alt art Eldrazi? Like, like Little Man, the Aeon's Torn, or Mutual, the Infinite Gyre? You know, I probably could. Will I? I don't know. That's, right. that's going to be a no. I don't know. Did you get scared? Did yeah. you jump a little bit? I did, yeah. Wow, well, I got him. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, he wasn't ready. He was like, oh, I was ready, ready for your jumpy jump. But then my jumpy jump got him anyway. Got him with my jumpy jump. Little jumpy jumperino. I mean, Umazawa's Jitte is pretty good. But so is Vivian Reed. And they don't have any creatures, so. But what if they do in the future? Um, well, I guess they could. But they don't now, so. Fetch a landy. That's just regular land. Oh, Billy Biscuits living in a What? Huh? What? He was staring at your main board and didn't expect your side face. That's fair. That's fair. I'm going to add a green. No. Yes. No. Wait, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm confused at my decisions. I'll play Vivian. They're going to be like, Oh, they didn't do anything. Do you just get rid of the Zijite while they have no creatures out? I think so. Could have waited. I didn't want to. I guess they might have had a flash deed, though. What if they do have a flash deed? What if they got Deceiver Exarch into pop pop Jite pop pop? That'd be really interesting to be playing. Oh, they got that. Wow. That was wild. That was brutal. Why didn't you bounce this? That's weird. Oh, you know what? You know what kills this? This does. <laughs> oh well, they played this. And they after they played a land. That's interesting. Mana leak. I hope you didn't have that last turn because that would be awkward. Free me. Oh, I like a resto. 
Frank, can I be a mod so I can ban anyone who corrects me? Oh god, no. Sounds, uh, no. Okay, so. Don't make fun of Patrick Mahomey. <laughs> That's Patrick Mahomey. Hey, y'all know Patrick Mahomey. Well, that's kind of rude. It is a little rude. Oh look, they got their they got their floaty boy ready to go. I got resto though. You didn't take my resto, you took my Elspeth? Interesting. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Relax, Sam, notice me. Sam, I didn't even see me. Did you say something? I don't understand what's going on. What I don't want to land. I do like a blood braid elf though. Let's look at the tip of the top. Oh, well, Eshnorn? Or do I just wind swept teeth with, with, with Ren? What? I mean, I'm drawing an extra card every turn, Michael. What problem is? That seems like a bad choice. You're a you're bad. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six. And you're a bad choice. You can't even play his three drop if you do that. Right, but like, I don't know what else they have. Uh, two, three, four, bloody braids into a worn power stone. Thank you. Rusty Shackleford, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. It was like five minutes ago because it's such a pain in the butt to give you money. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, S Smokey Loki with a gifted sub to Rusty Boy. I'm going to attack. Do you like that? Oh, we just win the game. Well, I guess it didn't matter. I guess it does not matter. I'm just saying it's weird to take a card that gains you a little bit of value when you can take a card that just wins the game. A little bit of value? Drawing a card every single turn and thinning our deck every turn is a little bit of value to you? It's a little bit of value. Plus, you're going to eventually run out of targets. Cause uh, and meanwhile, if they have one removal spell, like Leshnorn does nothing. Yeah, well, what they don't. If we run out of targets, that means we have like seven lands fewer in our deck. Who wants that? I'm going to take Balance out for, like, Lightning Strike. Or Incinerate, rather. Maybe both. Maybe neither. Eh, balance could be good against them. I feel like they're playing one guy at, at all. What'd you say to me? Look at this hand. Look at this friggin' only producing white and blue and white and uh, green mana. Oh, what up, Spider View? Long time no see, my dude. If the elf hit balance there, it would have been an O for three. I would just wouldn't cast it though. I'm just not gonna cast it then, Christopher. Yeah, you don't have to cast it. Dang. It's an option. You're an option. It's true. Got him. Did you, B buddy? You didn't got nothing. Oh my God, did I get you, dude? You didn't got nothing. Got him implies you insulted me. You didn't yeah. insult me. You dummy. See, now that. Oh, Cascade is optional? Lame. Really? That's the lame part of Cascade? That's the good part of Cascade. That's the only saving grace of Cascade. Vampire Nighthawk in the graveyard, huh? Imagine you just only had Bloodbraid Elf and you have to cast your removal spell on it. Bloodbraid. Anytime now. Mike B has been optional this whole time. Now it's true. That's correct. Yeah, you can turn me off in the settings. Oko. Okay. You can turn my one power stone into a creature. Into a creature. 
No, you make a food. Well, now we're going to elspeth that thing for sure. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the Matt Damon? He's in our hearts. Matt Damon. The only problem with this Elspeth right now is that we don't get anything back. Oh, a little Gaunty. I love a Gaunty. Also, if they attack with Gaunty, I am tempted to Elspeth and just block it, and then we get Elspeth back with plus one plus one. Or, uh, not Elspeth. Restoration Angel. Don't be a land. Don't. No, I asked you. I literally said, don't be a land. I asked you really nicely, actually. And then, one, two, three, four, one, two. And then you did it anyway. You mm -hmm. done did it. They did done you do it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Can you blink the saga? No, you can only blink creatures, non-angel creatures with resto. Don't even think about blinking that Iona. You got it. Oh well. It's like they knew. It's like they knew. Probably a steam vent. We want a blue source. Yeah. I wonder what we can draw here. It's any good. That that's that's it's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Boy, there's a lot of lands we're hitting here. Maybe I will. Really? Doubt. I'm just going to play it then. Oh, man, I'll eat it. No. Don't care enough. I don't even care. I don't care at all. Like the vegetable? Maybe. Who knows, man? Yeah, that seems fine. <laughs> Trade with the Gonti. Good deal. Teffer gets to untap at four. For sure, dude. <coughs> uh, you cannot Sun Titan Lotus Bloom back because it does not have a casting cost. It does not cost three or less. Oh, that's mine. You stole my Coalition Relic! How rude. I agree. But, you know what they say. Hmm. One, two, three... Banishing things all day. Get rid of this idiot. One, two, three, four. Hero Blade Hold. No attack? Nah, I didn't care enough. I did not care at all. It was too much clicking. If Gonzi ever cast your mortal son, he'd say, Give me back my son! 
What is that from? Mike, what is your number one com comfort food? Um, I don't know. Good Burger. Yeah, actually, you're right. I think it is from Good Burger. <laughs> Give me back my son. Good Burger. You know what? I'll take your snake out. I think I'm just a fiend for Thai food. That's not a comfort food, though. That's just a food you enjoy. What's the difference? It's not like, what's your favorite food? I'm legit curious. I don't actually know what comfort food necessarily means. Does that just mean southern food? Someone explain comfort food. I don't know how to, I don't know how to define it. <laughs> Does that just mean southern? No, Michael, that's racist. How's that racist? <sighs> just, if you don't... Southern are, isn't a race, buddy. Like, if you don't get it, I can't. I'm just going to get in there with this fat idiot. You know what card's real good? I mean, if comfort food just means food that makes you feel better, I would go with Pad Thai. Like... That makes you feel better? If you're having a bad day and you eat some pad thai, you're like, I feel much better now. A little bit, yeah. Nah, you just made that shit up. If it has to be something from my childhood, it would probably be my mom's Caesar salad. All right, we won the match. We're up. No, we're not. Still fine. Don't care. With that homemade dressing. Michael, I got news for you. That's not dressing. That's your it's father's people. ground up remains. <laughs> Well, he tastes real good, so whatever. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Daddy tastes delicious. Put him on my salad. Oh, this hand is balling. I'm about it. When are you guys going to start FF7? Ugh. Probably not ever. I mean, we'd have to finish Shadow of the Colossus first. Yeah. We still have to play. We still have to just make some time for Shadow of the Colossus. It's not a long game. I mean, I'm down whenever you are. Yeah, I think it just got knocked out of whack because of the whole, you know, virus and all that. Oh, good. This old chestnut. You got it. If it has to be a southern dish, I really like... Southern? Southern. It does not. Well, someone mentioned it, so I'm just going to... Who, 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 who mentioned it? So, southern food, like mac and That's cheese. That's a sow thing, oh. and he meant soothing. Soothing. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so, no. Okay, Michael? No. This is a good draw. What would your answer be? For comfort food. Probably like good baked macaroni and cheese. That's a good one. Oh, Patrick Mahomes sent us a message. Heard you guys... Heard you guys talking noise. Are we going to have a problem? Oh, dang. This is Patrick Mahomes the second. Oh, dang. I wonder if this is actually Patrick Mahomes. Okay, then what's your favorite Southern food, Mike B? Let Mike speak. He's not saying Southern. Why not? Why not what? I didn't say that. You didn't say what? I said Southern. You said Southern. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. This is the most painful experience of my life. Uh, southern food, probably chicken Southern? fried steak. 
Muggle. I want to just. Oh, I'm tucking this so hard, dude. With some nice gravy and some mashed taters. Oh, I'm tucking it less hard now, but still, I'll still tuck it pretty relatively hard. There's still gonna be a, a level of hardness to the tuckage. I've never had mac and cheese. You've never had mac and cheese? What? That's impossible. Like never even tried it. Okay, let's let's pump the brakes. There wasn't a point in my life where I didn't like mac and cheese because I never had good mac and cheese. Is Sean Con- Connery Southern? Southern? Yeah, probably. Sean Connery is Southern. <laughs> Got him. Don't forget apple or pecan pie. Those are delicious too. That's a tough choice. Oh man, I would, I would love to. I, yeah, that's not even close for me. I don't, I'm not a big pecan fan. Pecan just tastes like sugar. Apple tastes like apple. Not if you get a good pecan pie. It should be very pecan-y. Pecan-y. I don't give a fuck about pecans. Well, that's your opinion, Franklin. Well, that's a savory food. You put it in my pie. I don't care. The thing about apple pie is there's a lot of apple pies out there that are pretty just meh. Oh, we're tinkering. Oh, God. I don't like mac and cheese on popular opinion. That's definitely an unpopular opinion. But hey, man. You do you. Don't do you. All right, here we go. They're tinkering. We have this macaroni casserole. It's basically the same thing, but instead of cheese, there's minced meat and eggs. Wait, what? That's very different. Ink Bell Leviathan's good. Flight Steel is bad. Bolus's Citadel is also a thing. Lemon meringue pie or strawberry rhubarb? I'd prefer strawberry there. Not big on meringue. I'm a key lime pie fan. I don't like mac and cheese unless it's gluten free. Well, that's kind of like a health thing, not a, you know. Star Wars prequels is better than sequels, unpopular opinion. That's false, patently false. You ever watch them, like recently? They're pretty cringe. They're absolutely terrible. Not that the sequels are the best movies ever or anything, but... Like episode two? Oh man, that's hard to watch. It's real rough. I don't like mac and cheese either, but that's because cheese upsets my stomach. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if it hurts you to eat it. Where does the key and key lime pie come from? I don't know. Uh, from Key West, Florida. Oh, because that's where it's invented? Correct. Yeah, that makes sense. Mace Windu is better than Poe? I don't know. Mace Windu is just... He's just playing Samuel L. Jackson. There's nothing non-Samuel L. Jackson about him. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's not incredible. That's not incorrect. Right, and I think that's fine, but it doesn't fit in a, It just didn't feel like it fit in a Star Wars movie. Maybe know. you don't. Not, I think I could probably fit in a, a scene. No. Not that big, you know. Never. I liked Venom, and even I thought the prequels were bad. Damn. Nice. It comes down to, if you like cheese, you like mac and cheese. Yeah, pretty much. That sounds correct. Would you rather cast for Mace Windu? I don't know. I don't think Mace Windu is a big enough character in the prequels that I would have had to, like, change his casting. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. The problem with the story wasn't the actors. It was the lack of a good story. and. No, well, I don't think Hayden Christensen was great in those roles. The women and the children. <laughs> I hate sand. <laughs> it's coarse and dry and it gets everywhere. Hey, man, he actually says that very subtly. He doesn't really yell it. I yell it. heard about mac and cheese with buffalo sauce but never tried it i've definitely heard of that before 
that's the other thing about macaroni and cheese. It's mostly just a casserole, so you can pretty much put anything you want in it. Let's get this out of here. Oh, we just win the game. That's pretty good. I like winning the game. I was not expecting to win the game. But I like winning the game. Prequels gave me more Jedi, whereas the sequels were just a rehash of the stories I've already seen. I mean, the, f the first sequel was a rehash, but The Last Jedi was definitely unlike any other Star Wars film. It was very different. That's why a lot of people didn't like it. I wonder if Geist is actually good in this matchup. It might be. I just don't know if they have that many good creatures. Red Letter Media is great. They make some really funny videos. lands prequels way better than the sequels different goals I mean I'd like to hear your opinion as to why they're better as opposed to just saying it yeah I agree I don't think that's correct at all I mean I think the memes are better from the prequels but that's about it <laughs> fair a lot of great memes came out of that I tell you what boy I tell you what like if you actually sit down and watch they're not episode good episode two it is actually hard to sit through. It is really, really bad. Whereas I, I liked all of the, the three sequels. I, I think they're all very watchable and, and fun movies. And it's not like the so bad it's good kind either. They're just like... Ugh. No, it's not like The Room or something where you're like, oh, this is fucking terrible, but it's so terrible that it's gone back. Like, I could see if you have nostalgia for them, maybe. I like Rogue One a lot. Yeah, I think Rogue One is great. Rogue One was a very good film. Oh, that's... that's you know, I'm kind of surprised Portina isn't a more common dish in the U.S. I think it's because, like, we feel like gravy on french fries is... Portina! What? You said poutine, and it sounded like Portina. Oh. Okay. 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 Come on, let's Planeswalker one time. That's true. Rogue One is not technically a sequel. You're a tinker again, man? Come on. Both the sequels and the prequels aren't without their respective faults. It's just different. No. Like, I get they both not. Baby and Reed. Baby and Reed. Baby and Reed. Baby. You can argue that the sequels have their faults, but the prequels are just actual bad films. Oh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind. I just don't think they're any good at all. At least the sequels, I feel like you can enjoy, and they're still kind of fun movies. That is a good card against us. I guess we need to keep in path and winds of abandon. Boy, this incinerates. Rogue One is an in between cool. Huh. Okay. Shriek Maw. You got it. Come on, Elspeth champion. Elspeth chooses death. No blocks, but I will incinerate your shrieky boy. Oh, well, we did draw Vivian Reed. Ironically, <laughs> it does not do anything, though. Actually, Deceiver Exarch seems pretty decent here. 
Uncle Lee says, I watched the prequels as a kid and loved them. I rewatched them as an adult and wished I hadn't all. Yeah, I feel the same way. I liked episode one as a kid. Uh, I didn't like episode two as a kid. Even then, I did not like that. And three was okay. As an adult, it's just like, oof. Hard to get through two. One's not great either. Come and knock on our door. So did I board it? I bought it at Path and... No, I guess I kept Path, so we only have Winds of Abandon here. That's... Okay. Sun Titan couldn't get back anything right now. Mike B, when did you lose your sense of wonder? I mean, that's just part of growing up, right? Well, I guess this is growing up. It's all right to tell me what you think, Mike B. They made a rat. What did you hate most about the Clone Wars? I feel like that was the better of them. You thought that was the better of them? Oh, Jesus Christ. The dialogue is insanely cringe. Uh, the relationship between Padme and Anakin oh God is not only cringe, but also like it just doesn't make any sense in any form of way. Why does it exist? Uh, let's see what else. Does I need to mention anything else? And also, like, there isn't, like... I just think there isn't very, anything really that entertaining in the story in the second one, either. Like, it's just kind of like, eh. So I have Path, and I still have Elspeth. Champions. The dead. I've heard the Clone Wars cartoon is very good. I have not watched that. No, there goes my path. Hmm. And blue. And white. And green. Guys of St. Trist. Guys of St. Trist. Gonna end the turn and cast a little. Trist. Well, path is gone, unfortunately. So I'm gonna, I know I might take flack for this, but oh, here we go. The Clone Wars animated series I've heard is very good, and there's no yeah. reason I shouldn't watch it. The only reason I don't is because I really, really hate the art style. Oh God, get over it! I just hate to look at it. Well, I hate to look at you, but we're still hanging <laughs> out, man. <laughs> You know, what are you going to do? Now this is pod racing, man. Y y yeah, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that's pretty sad. I sure the sequels that they make no sense. Who is Luke? Who is Leia? Who is even the antagonist? Who is Luke? Who is Leia? Who is even the antagonist? So they just block. I mean, the prequels make sense, I guess, they but they're just they lame block, in my block, opinion. Block. Like they just there's oh, all the rats. Very basic. Well, I guess this is Michael B. You got a comic book grading question. Graded by Halo? I've never even heard of Halo as a company, so no.
I mean, I would probably get it regraded just because there's no pedigree surrounding Halo whatsoever. I have no idea what that even is. Yeah, I've never heard of them either. All right, all the rats are gone. So now we're just on a one-for-one -one basis with this stupid idiot Sphinx of Steel End. Scooby -doo 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 it's an Australian based grinding company? Interesting. That's funny because like even so I still feel like I would have seen it like in different They have one card in hand. I'm tempted to crack this scalding tarn, but it just takes a turn away from us, so I'm not going to, and I'm gonna draw Gideon Geronimo. Uh, they just kill it next turn, right? So we can just make an emblem. Actually, if they don't kill it, it gives us another turn again, so. Well, I guess this is Michael B. You guys like this Blink-182 song I'm singing based on Michael B.'s name? That's like all your songs. Maybe. I think the problem with the prequels is the time period they were made in. I mean, there were good movies made back then, so I don't think that makes any sense. Right, but it was before the era of, like, good, like, fantasy slash sci-fi movies. You know, like, it was before the comic book golden age of movies. Yeah, but you got to compare them to the originals, right? It's made by the same guy. Like, they shouldn't be worse. Right, right, but it was, like, a time where CGI was really, like, a big deal. I don't think effects were the problem, though. I think it was just bad story. That's my problem with them. No way, man. If they had more puppets and less CGI, dude. I mean, that would be better. I don't think it would fix the terrible dialogue. And Michael, let's pronounce dialogue. Oh, sorry. The terrible dialogue. Yeah. The, the one of the best parts of the original trilogy was that, like, they just had, like, real puppets. All right. So what did yeah, they say? Practical is always better over CGI. People don't do it now just because it's way more expensive to do. To do Are they sacking their Sphinx for this? Oh, that's fascinating. Interesting. Well, that's really good and probably unbeatable. Yep. Okay. Let's bring Winds of Abandon back. Yeah, I think the time period was more concerned with six CGI than substance. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. That's that's that is the problem. Yeah, they felt like they had no substance. They were just like, here's an excuse to show lightsaber battles and no reason for them to actually be happening. Well, I guess this is growing up, Michael, you know. Man, they're really going crazy in that friggin' chat. Are you right? Why would I lie about that? All right, this is the last game. I'm trying to 2-1 here. Oh boy, so cringe. There's this uh, <clears throat> dude in my poker chat who like just posts poker quotes that look all dramatic and quote unquote cool. And they're all by like professional poker players, but like it's posted by a guy who just has no absolute idea what he's doing. So it's real weird. <clears throat> it's like if you're telling me you like all these professional poker players, but you go all in with 7-10 off, it doesn't really... Your quote's not making a sense, man. You're not really following your quotes. Oh, wow. 
Look what's happening. I bet he quotes rounders all the time. Yes, that does happen. But it's weird because, like, I feel like if you're that entranced in poker knowledge, you should be better at the game. What are you saying right now? This is where they tinker? Wow, this is amazing. Oh, well, okay. I used to read all your cards and huge there a while back. Glad to see you're still around. I came here to host. Kind of. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. I mean, you didn't have to stop reading my argument. You just kept reading them. Ugh. Is Vintage Q's back? No. This is... No, this is our weird vintage deck with ravi, ra Ravaging... Ravy, 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 Ravy. Ravy. Well, not going to work here anymore. 710 off. More like 710 on. Got him. Dang. What does that mean? Well, no, it's not about these a fan. It's about like posting these like pretentious poker quotes <sighs> about how you should play the game, but then not doing it yourself. I don't <sighs> know. This is annoying. Where can I read comics online? I mean, I think you can figure that one out for yourself. Like, how do you feel about Planeswalkers and Commander? Uh, if you mean, like, Planeswalkers as your Commander, I think that's probably a bad idea. If you just mean Planeswalkers in general and Commander, um, they can be really hit or miss because they usually don't affect the board enough and they just get killed by your opponent's creatures. Come on, Path, Winds, Banishing Light, ba uh, Tundra. That's a good one, too, I guess. What quote are you talking about? I don't see your quote. Repost it. It's all right to tell Oh, the my... one your buddy posted about poker. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'll read it. Read my post. This is great. Oh, wow. Next turn could be very good. Oh, it's the wrong fuck. It's the wrong fuck. It is the wrong fuck. God damn it. It's frustrating. I mean, I guess if they don't attack it, that we win some abandon, and then just. I guess they still have to. I guess they can only attack with one, then we're still taking five. That's really annoying. Well, that was a misclick. Do you want some commander list? I don't even. I, not, no, not really. I don't really play commander. <laughs> yep. And of course they take advantage of my now here's one of the quotes clearly a misclick see in my world the world of high stakes poker which we're not playing high stakes poker we play for cold hard cash it's all business pure and simple one dollar at a time one chip at a time that's how you keep score that's like a dad meme and look at the art on it too like that's such a like like a like a cringe like this is my serious poker image and it's from a real eh. poker player but that's like from a poker player who actually plays high stakes and it makes sense It's like kid play. It's like a kid playing dress. Or here's up. one. This is a Phil Ivy quote, but it doesn't apply here for the same logic. 
get your chips your way, I'll get my chips my way. It's like, buddy, you're just giving people chips. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> you're just throwing chips away, you stupid idiot. I guess you should be happy, though, because well, playing against things that are bad players here. is pretty ideal as far as poker goes. One, two, three, four, five. And I guess we're just winds of abandoning here. Might be how do you how do you about twin in commander? What does that even mean? Was that English? I mean I know I'm pretty bad at it, but I have no idea what that actually meant. Do you mean splinter twin? I don't even see that. Don't they get their chips the same way though, that the James the results? I think it's implied the style of poker is how you get chips. I think that's what that means, but I will name Carnage. Oh, you're going to Vampiric Tutor. There's like 45 messages about Mutate in our chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I can't keep up with this, man. But it just goes to show that Mutate can be a little complicated. It is. It's a very complicated mechanic. Which is funny, because it's in the same set as Companion, which is also a uh, obnoxious mechanic. This is just... Oh, Ikori is just the set of uh, obnoxious, obnoxious mechanics. Yeah. yeah. Reese, I don't think it's happening in this game, buddy. In a world where poker is the only means of entertainment, one man stands between us and Armageddon. <laughs> yeah, the, all the quotes do definitely sound like the like crappy 90s <laughs> movie guy. Are we just dead here? I have no idea what they're going to play for Mardu mana. Other Doretti. Seems good. I don't know what we can even draw here. That's going to put us back in this game when they have multiple engines. Like the poker movie with Woody Harrelson is pretty good. Have you seen it? Not Woody Harrelson, no. I don't think so. What's the name of it? The name is Woody Harrelson's poker movie. Mike B in Dead Man's Hand. <laughs> this summer... I would love to see Mike B save the world playing poker. I don't know how I'd save the world doing that. Carnage again. I guess in theory, if I was like very good and made millions of dollars off it, I could donate money. So that would be quote unquote saving the world. In a world where Mike B saves the world. <laughs> In a world where there's only one Jan Michael Vincent. <laughs> Jan Michael, you're Vincent. Now we're just fucking dead. What's this? Hard cast? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they just hard cast Inkwell Leviathan. Seems good. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, Warm Power Stone. Not going to do it. Recep, I'm so sorry, buddy. One, two, with the superest of friends. But, oh well. What can you do? We got two trophies today. We did a stipulation. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check around on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore, coolstuffinc.com, and manatraders.com for a great subscription service with 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Follow and subscribe on Twitch. It's a great way to support the stream. Connect your Twitch and your Discord accounts, and you can hang out in the subscriber Discord, which is also sweet. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.